Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm sharing a project using a stamp set that I was just had to have. I thought it was super cute. It's from Lawn Fawn. It's called Less Toast. I did pick up the coordinating dies, but um, I saw I, I saw this and I thought, oh, I just had to have it. I just love it. I love all the elements that you can use to create peanut butter and jelly and the avocado. It's just super cute. Now this set also comes with an interactive die set that you can buy, that you can buy purchase, um, separately, but I chose not to get that. I just got the coordinating dies. So we're going to jump in and get started. I'm going to take the little toaster here. Super cute. I'm going to take, we're going to make a card with the the toaster pastries. I thought it'd be super cute. Now I'm also going to stamp the butter and the butter knife. Um, I know they have nothing to do with the toaster pastries, but they are so cute. I wanted to add them to my project today. So it's kind of not coherent, but, but I love the outcome. <laughs> I'm going to ink up my images with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I'm also going to stamp the pastry two times. We're going to have two of them popping out of the toaster. Now, um, after we have our images stamped, I'm going to color them in with my Copic markers. Today, um, I'm going to play a little music while I color. I did leave the caps out, and I also um, left the colors up in the left-hand corner for you guys, in case you want to know the colors that I used. But I do have to tell you that I had a little problem with my toaster. I think I chose some the wrong color combination. Um, my lightest was the B v zero 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 and i think it was just too light because i had a real pro um, problem with my blending but um so i ended up bringing a darker uh, shade of violet but um i'll play a little music and when i'm done coloring i will get you back Okay, coloring is all done, and I think that's as good as my toaster is going to get. <laughs> so I'm going to take the coordinating dies, and I'm just going to separate them and die cut them out. Um, I wanted to show you that in the die set, there's two little pieces that you can use to cut out um, the slits on top of the, uh, the toaster. One has two slits, and then the other one has one. So I'm using the one that has two. And the nice thing is you can die cut them out together. Sometimes with dies like this, you have to die cut them out separately, but they line up beautifully. And so you can tuck your little toaster, your pastries and your little toaster, super cute. <laughs> okay, now I wanna do something special with my little toaster pastry. So I'm using some Nouveau uh, Crystal Drops. These are simply white and we're gonna do a little frosting swirl over the top of our little pastry here. I love this look on the little donuts and the pastries. I just love it. I'm going to give you a close up. The lighting's a little bit bright, but all right, isn't that so cute? <laughs> okay, love my frosting. Okay, next we are going to do work on our background panel. I'm taking a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use a background stamp. This one's called the Triple Stripe Background. And I'm placing it on the bottom portion of my Misty. This way I only I'm going to stamp on the bottom portion of my panel. I'm inking it up with some pink lemonade ink. We're going to stamp it a few times to get a good impression. I love that soft background. 
Okay, now I'm going to take a double stitch rectangle die and cut out a panel. The panel size is going to be three and three quarter, no, three and a half inches by four and three quarters. Once we have that die cut, I the top area is just a little bit too white for me. So I thought we would bring in an embossing folder. This one has is by Darius, I believe, and it has um, uh, octagonal shapes. It's super pretty. I thought it'd be fun to just do the ha the top half of this panel. So I'm lining it up with the bottom, and then I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and just embossing the top half. And I love the outcome of this with the embossed top and then the stamped bottom. I think it just turned out so pretty. Now to cover the seam between the two, I'm going to bring in some Baker's Twine. This is yellow and white Baker's Twine. We're going to bring out the color of our butter that doesn't belong. <laughs> I'm going to tie a bow all the way to the left. And then with any, we'll just trim our tails down with of our Baker's Twine. Super fun. And the camera's not picking up the embossed um, detail, but it's just so pretty. Okay, we're going to grab our card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. It's an A2 size card base. Using my tape runner, we'll adhere our panel directly on top in the center. Lovely. Okay, now we have our little elements. Um, the frosting on my toaster pastry is just not dry yet, so we are going to take some foam squares. I'm going to add them behind my butter and then behind the butter knife here. Add a couple pieces and then we'll add some behind our toaster as well. When I add it behind the toaster, I'm not going all the way up to the top because we are going to slide our pastries on the inside, so I want to leave that area a little bit open. Okay. Still, um, I had to take a coffee break because it took quite a while for that to dry. So in the meantime, we're going to stamp our sentiment. The sentiment says, so cute, popping up to say dot, dot, dot. I'm just going to die cut it out using one of my sentiment dies here. Once that's die cut, I thought we'll add the rest of our sentiment on the inside of our card. We have a little bit of time. I'm going to ink up the rest of my sentiment, there's two parts to it. The first one says, I love you. And then the second one says, with all my tart. <laughs> it's so cute. Real little punny, which is so sweet. But I layered them both together and then I stamped them. And then I thought, well, we will stamp a pastry right next to it. What I love to do is, I, I did this with a previous Lawn Fawn Donut card. Um, I block off my sentiment with some uh, posty tape and then I can stamp one of my pastries right on top. And so this looks like my sentiment's actually on top of my pastry. I like doing this. I'll give you a close up. I just think that looks super cute. I'll use the same colors of Copic markers that I used to color in my toaster pastries that we did earlier. The pinks and the browns. Just do a little bit more shading with our darker pink. Lovely. And I did go around my sentiment. Okay, there's little itty bitty um, sprinkles in the stamp set. So I thought we'll sprinkle up our little toaster pastry. I'm going to use Memento Rich Cocoa ink and we'll just stamp our sprinkles a few times, making sure I don't hit my sentiment, but adding some chocolate sprinkles. Love that. <laughs> okay. And my knife and butter kind of stuck. Now, um, I, I had to pause the video and then I, I went I, and did something and I came back and then we're finishing off our card because it, it took a couple hours for that to dry. But I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of my um, foam squares and kind of figure out my placement with my butter that doesn't belong on this card, but it's so cute. And I didn't press down all the way yet because I wasn't sure of my placement just yet. Um, I'm only going to add foam squares to one of the toaster pastries. It's going to be the first one we adhere in the very first slot on the um, towards the edge. And the second one, we're not going to adhere foam um, adhesive to 
or foam squares too. Um, just now. We, we eventually will because my tape runner here doesn't work. <laughs> it didn't adhere to my my crystal drops. So I just took a small piece of foam tape and added it behind there and stuck it to my my background panel. And I think that looks so, so sweet. Next we'll add some dimensional adhesive behind our sentiment. We'll add that right um, above our toaster. Originally I went all the way to the left and then I ended up adjusting it in just a little bit. I didn't like it all the way to the left. There was too much there. So we're going to scoot this over. Okay, for bells and whistles, I'm going to grab some pretty pink posh jewels. These are called pink blush. Super pretty. And we're just going to add a few here and there. I'm going to do a little tucking on the bottom ones. And then, but last but not least, we're going to use some glossy accents. I'm just going over the metal parts of my toaster the um, and the knobs and then also my little butter knife and then that finishes off my card today guys love this little stamp set i thank you so much for joining me i wish you a lovely rest of the day and we will see you again real soon guys Bye bye